This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Stick around to see how Squarespace can help you build your own beautifully designed website or online store with ease. Season 1 of Shadow and Bone begins in the land of East Ravka, where an army cartographer named Alina Starkov is reunited with her childhood friend Mal Oritsev, who is now a fearless corporal in the First Army. The Second Army is made up of Grisha, warriors with magic abilities known as Small Science, who have just created a gigantic ship known as the Ultralight to pass through a dark and dangerous magical area known as the Fold. The Fold is an area separating East and West Ravka filled with monsters known as Volkra that had previously killed Alina's parents and left her an orphan. The Fold was created hundreds of years ago by a Grisha known as a Shadow Summoner, and now only a famous Sun Summoner could destroy the Fold for good. Mal is drafted to join a select group of First Army soldiers aboard the Ultralight to cross the Fold and acquire ammunition from the other side. Not wanting to be separated from Mal again, Alina burns all of the Army's maps, requiring the cartographers to join the voyage. During the Ultralight's voyage into the Fold, the army is attacked by Volkra, causing many soldiers to flee while most of the others are slaughtered. During the fight, Alina spontaneously bursts into light, saving the remaining soldiers and revealing that she is in fact a Grisha who possesses the Sun Summoner power. Meanwhile, a surviving cartographer named Alexei flees the Fold into West Ravka, where he is captured by a criminal named Dreesen. After Alexei confirms he witnessed a Sun Summoner, Dreesen kills the man and offers a huge reward to a criminal gang known as the Crows if they capture and bring to him Alina. The Crows gang includes leader Kaz Brecker, a sharpshooter named Jesper Fahey, and Inej Gaffa, a former indentured servant who Kaz had saved from servitude. When the ultralight survivors flee the fold, Mal's wounds are tended to, while Second Army General Kurigan confirms that Alina is a Grisha and the long-awaited Sun Summoner. Alina is then separated from Mal once again and taken by Kurigan to the Grecian headquarters known as the Little Palace, to meet Ravka's king and queen. Once there, she is to train in her newfound powers to not only destroy the fold, but also earn the respect of Grisha amongst average humans. The king wants to destroy the fold so that East Ravka and the rebellious West Ravka can be reunited under his rule and prepare for war against the rival country of Fjorda. While training in her new powers under the Grisha Bagra, Alina butts heads with a wind summoner named Zoya, who is jealous of Alina's relationship with Mal and her attention from Kirigan. Alina then befriends a Grisha tailor named Jenya. Alina also begins to experience strange dreams of a stag, which the king's spiritual advisor, known as the Apparat, explains is connected to one of the first ever Grisha, known as the Bonesmith, who created mystical creatures that could be killed to amplify a Grisha's powers. Meanwhile, Mal goes on a mission to find and capture the stag from Alina's dreams, which would amplify her powers enough to destroy the fold. By capturing the stag, Mal hopes to gain an invitation to the little palace to reunite with Alina. While on his mission, Mal fails to respond to Alina's many letters, which upsets her. Thinking Mal has abandoned her, Alina turns her full focus to her Grisha training, making great progress and growing closer to Kirigan, who reveals himself to be a descendant of the Shadow Summoner wanting to absolve his family's legacy. Meanwhile, a Grisha heartrender named Nina is captured by the racist Fjordan witch hunters. While being transported to her execution, the Fjordan ship sinks during a storm and Nina is forced to work with a Fjordan named Matthias to survive. As the two unlikely companions travel together, they fall in love. Knowing a relationship between a Grisha and a Fjordan could never be accepted, Nina and Matthias plan to run away together. Unfortunately, they are discovered by Fedyor, one of Kurigan's loyal soldiers. Knowing Fedyor would kill Matthias, Nina instead turns Matthias over to a group of Ravkin bounty hunters. Despite Nina's explanation that she betrayed him for his own safety, Matthias is devastated by this act and refuses to accept her reasonings. Meanwhile, the Crows begin their mission to capture Alina. In order to cross the fold and find the little palace, they are forced to work with a human trafficker named Arkin, who had sold Inej into servitude years prior. Once in East Ravka, the Crows infiltrate a massive celebration at the little palace known as the Winter Feet. Also arriving at the Winter Feet is Mal, who has come to reveal the location of the stag in exchange for a reunion with Alina. Unaware that Mal has come for her, 
Alina shares a kiss with Kirigan. Unfortunately, Bagra, who is revealed to be the mother of Kirigan, then warns Alina that Kirigan doesn't want to destroy the Fold, but control its power. It turns out Kirigan isn't a descendant of the Shadow Summoner, but the Eternal Shadow Summoner himself, who had unintentionally created the Fold hundreds of years ago while trying to form a powerful Grisha army to fight back against persecution from the humans. And so, Alina flees from the palace and is finally reunited with Mal. Meanwhile, Kirigan manages to capture and kill Arkin while the other crows escape. Just as Alina and Mal find the stag, Kirigan and his army arrive, killing the creature and seriously injuring Mal. Kirigan uses the stag's power on himself and Alina, gaining the ability to control Alina's powers. Kirigan then promises to heal Mal if Alina joins him into the fold. Alina is also reunited with her Grisha ally Jinya, who reveals that Kirigan is staging a coup to overthrow the king in an effort to obtain Grisha supremacy by any means necessary. Jinya also confesses to having been working as Kirigan spy to earn Alina's trust, as the king had abused her for years. As Alina and Mal board Kirigan's ship to cross the fold, the crows also sneak on board. As Alina's powers help protect Kirigan's army from the fold's Volcra, Kirigan uses his powers to expand the fold into West Ravka, destroying the rebel army. The crows meet Mal aboard the ship and upon realizing Alina's destiny, decide to abandon their original plans to instead help save the Sun Summoner. Also joining Alina's side is her rival Zoya, who turns against Kirigan after her family is killed by the Fold's expansion. Mal and Kirigan engage in a fight to the death that is cut short when Kirigan is dragged away by Volkra. Alina, Mal, Zoya, and the Crows emerge from the Fold as the only survivors. The Crows depart on a ship back home, and Kaz begins plotting for a way to avoid the wrath of Dreesen for failing to deliver Alina. His plan requires a heart render, and luckily for the crows, they happen to be on the very ship carrying the captured Matthias and his heart render lover Nina. Meanwhile, Alina and Mal vow to destroy the fold once and for all. As the season comes to a close, a battered Kirigan emerges from the fold and commands it to follow him into the rest of the world. Now I want to tell you about this video sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that helps you build your website or online store to connect with your audience and build your brand. I use Squarespace to build RecapAndChill.com and the process could not have been any easier. They helped me lock in my website domain name and they have an insane amount of custom templates to choose from that are fully customizable to fit my needs. I especially love the video block feature that allows me to display all of my recaps right on my homepage. And if you're looking to get into videos yourself but don't have any editing software, Squarespace also offers a video studio that helps you create pro-level videos effortlessly. And the best part is if you head on over to squarespace.com slash recap and chill, you'll get a free trial plus 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain name. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and thanks to you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.